Jess Closs Thompson here. Now, for doing these wonderful videos for you good people and assholes alike, I, I don't discriminate. I've come to encounter the troll. So this is a video about how to deal with the troll. Now, like the name suggests, these aren't some kind of warm, fluffy creatures. They're vile, hideous creations. So this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide about how to deal with them so they don't cause you any pain or aggravation. In fact, you can go one step further, you can help them. Yes, I said it, you can help the trolls. Here's how. Step one. First, we have to find a computer. Trolls have moved from under bridges to this day and age in front of the bright lights of the computer screen. As soon as we find a computer, we're sure to find a troll close at hand. Like I said earlier, we found a computer and luckily, in this case, we have a troll. Now, usually the troll will find you when you show any kind of weakness or sadness. They pounce on their prey. <laughs> In this case, we're going to try and get the troll's attention. Now, this is what you don't do. Uh, Mr. Troll, sir, uh, if I could just uh, have your attention just for a minute, I, I just... Tro uh, it doesn't work. What also doesn't work, even though it's very tempting to do, is give the troll abuse. Let me show you. You, you, you fucking muppet, you, you cretinous, devious, horrible fucktard, you window licking, retarded, motherfucking, cunting, ah, but why are you a bastard? Why are you such a bastard? What I'm about to say next goes against every natural instinct, every bone in your body. But to truly cure the troll, to not get sucked into their vacuum of sadness, you have to embrace the troll. Which is a very hard thing to do. But, ironically, the thing what the troll fears the most is the thing what they need the most. Love. And now you see, the troll is only a boy. A boy with a shit haircut and no girlfriend. But a friendly boy, nonetheless. This message was brought to you by Toby the Troll, A. Colossus and the Colossus.